let's take a look at the procedure that I named string length. And the idea here is to calculate the length of the string by searching for a new line character or a null character in the input buffer specified by register A0. So when we're done with our computation, the length will be returned in register V0. Since I need to be able to use some registers in this computation, I'm going to save these five registers on the stack. Stack memory is memory outside of our data segment. And this is considered to be a temporary memory, uh, which is specified by register SP, stack pointer. So to organize space on the stack for five registers, really need to reserve uh, space for them, which is 20 bytes. Basically, the size of every register is four bytes multiplied by five. It is altogether 20 bytes. So if this is our memory, and these are low addresses, and these are high addresses right here, we say that stack grows in the direction of lower addresses. It means that the stack pointer is specifying a certain location, and we are allowed to use this space in the lower addresses area. So basically we subtract 20 from the current stack pointer address, and the stack pointer moves to this location, which provides a space right here to save all these registers. Okay, so this is the area where we're going to save all these registers. Of course, before we return, we will do the opposite. We will restore the values back into our registers and then add 20 bytes to the address of the stack pointer to restore its initial state just as it was before the procedure was invoked. Our memory input buffer is somewhere in the data segment memory and we get the address of this buffer in register A0 but I set register T4 to point to the beginning of this buffer and also initialize V0 which we will return back as a counter of characters that we need to calculate. I also set register T1 to contain the encoding of new line character. So V0 contains 0, T4 is pointing to the beginning of our buffer, we add them together, and so we use register A0 as the address of the next character to examine. So of course at the beginning it's the first character that we want to take a look at. Next we have load byte instruction which basically goes to this address, dereferences it, and reads the value of the character, basically the encoding of this character, into register T2. So register T1 has new line, and T2 has the encoding of our character. And I determine if they're equal, then we jump to length is ready. So the instruction is branch if equal, and this takes us out of this place and we say that the length is ready, so we're just going to restore the registers and return back to the calling procedure. On the next line, branch if equal to zero, I check our character against the zero, and again, if we find a null character which terminates the input, then we also jump out of this loop and we say that the length is ready. And by the way, I just noticed that I have a bug here. This should say T2, not T1, will change this, because T1 contains a new line and T2 contains the encoding of the character. So that's incorrect uh, register right here in this instruction. Finally, we increment our character counter by 1 and jump right back to the beginning of this loop. And so we're doing our checks again, and as soon as we find a new line or a null character in this input buffer, the loop will terminate and we'll be ready to return. Okay, so before we return, we use the same exact offsets on the stack 0, 4, 8, 12, 16 to restore the same register values by using load word commands. We restore the position of the stack pointer and we use jr command to return back to the caller since the return address is still in the register ra, return address.